Hi, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, welcome. And I hope that you like what you see. If you like this video, push the like button. And if you want to see more like it, push the subscribe and you'll be notified every time I do a new video. And what I do here is videos on gardening, not too much of that yet in Huron County in Michigan. And also we do vid I do videos on cooking, on canning, and what we're doing to redo this over 100 year old farmhouse that we purchased three years ago. It's on almost eight acres. We have a creek running through it, which is why we call it Pike Creek Farm. We named it that. My husband was trapping for um, muskrat that were deteriorating the bank of the creek and he caught a pike right around this time of year that he released because they were spawning. So we named it Pike Creek Farm after that. We have chickens, we have dogs, looking at other animals. We have a little orchard and we just really love it here. So one of the things that I wanted to do on this channel is old recipes, family recipes, recipes that people have given me. And I showed this on another video. Um, this is a Ziploc bag full of family recipes and things I had saved for over 30 years. And I want to do some of these and bring back some like old fashioned casseroles. And I, I did my grandma's banana cake recipe made into um, banana muffins with chocolate chips. That video is already uploaded. But there's some other ones that I think are would be really fun too and and things that my family has enjoyed and maybe your family would too. And some of them are just funny. Like here's one, it's for ribbon jello, written in my mother's handwriting. It was my Aunt Iva's recipe. She brought it to every baby shower and bridal shower. Little skinny layers of all different colored jellos with a white layer in between. And you know, you don't see jello salads the way you did back in the 60s and the 70s and even the 80s. But that is one I might try one day. Um, some of the other ones that are in here that were ones that my mom gave me when I got married the first time and we moved to California. So she was mailing us recipes for us to try when we got in our first own place. Um, Frank Whiz Macaroni. Yep, that's an old one. With Frankfurters and Cheese Whiz and Green Onions and Kraft Mustard. <laughs> this is one, it's Beef Brisket. And when I was a little girl um, in kindergarten, we lived in an apartment complex, brand new apartment complex, and it was behind a hospital and lots of doctors' families lived there. And I became friends with a little girl who was my age. And she was Jewish, and this is what her family made for during Hanukkah. My mom got the recipe and has made it several times. It's a great beef brisket recipe, so I might try that one. In one of the videos, there is a crab dip recipe that is, it has gelatin in it. It's a molded crab dip recipe, but it's actually really good, <laughs> as funny as it sounds. A coffee cake recipe that is wonderful, made in a bump pan with um, a yellow cake mix as the base. I have my grandma Laverne's banana cake, which I already did that one. Ground beef and tater casserole with green beans in it. Uh, rhubarb crunch. As you can tell, these recipes have been used um, mayonnaise cake, my mom was not a baker, not at all, but this was the one cake that she would make for birthdays and it turned out really good. As soon as she taught me how to bake, she turned it over to me. That was just not her favorite thing to do. She was a great cook, but baking was not her favorite. I have a recipe for Saunders bumpy cake icing, and if you're from Michigan, you know what Saunders bumpy cake is. It's a chocolate cake with like ribbons of white fluffy icing with a chocolate ganache type icing over it. It's very rich. I have a recipe in here for broccoli cheese soup from a neighbor. 
I have a recipe for a curry sauce for veggies from my mom. And that's like from back in the 70s. She used to make it all the time. I have a recipe for a great salad. Um, a coworker brought this into work and it's a salad that has mandarin oranges and French fried onion rings in it and the homemade salad dressing. It's kind of like a sweet sour dressing. That's one that's always popular. I have brown sugar cookies and they're where you make the roll refrigerator cookie where you wrap it in, in wax paper and you can just slice off what you want and bake. Uh, pizza casserole from a co-worker who is a great cook and it's all in a 9 by 13 and it has hamburger and all the it's, it's really good convenient here's one of my mom's from when I got married the first time and it's oven stroganoff and it's not traditional stroganoff it has the stew meat but then it has like french onion soup and mushroom soup and mushroom pieces and tomato sauce and some other things added to it. Uh, when I moved, when I got married the first time, we lived in California and my mother-in-law brought home this recipe from work and it is for green bean burritos. And she got it from someone from work and it's really a good recipe. And I think now, cause it doesn't have refried beans, they use French style green beans in it. It'd be a really good recipe with the low carb tortillas we have now calico beans with all the different kinds of beans and hamburger. That was like a family reunion potluck staple growing up. I sorted through a bunch of them, there's so many. A turkey joe recipe, um, stuffed meatloaf, French soap chocolate pie. I'm, there is also a chocolate eclair dessert um, and then there's Heath bar dessert which has ice cream in it but you don't put it in the freezer it has pudding and ice cream and Heath bars and Cool Whip but you keep it in the refrigerator and mom and dad had a had a card club they belonged to and that was a popular dessert for card club trying to pull out a few of these There's some other pasta recipes. There's French dip in the crock pot, a butterhorn recipe, English muffin bread recipe. Um, there's a recipe, we call them cheese tarts in my family. Three of my grandparents are Canadian and they always call them cheese tarts, but there's no cheese in them. They're, I think it's supposed to be chest tarts and just with the accent, Maybe it came out as cheese tarts when I was a kid, and my mom called them that too. They're currant tarts is what they are, and they're very good. It isn't always easy to find currants. Um, I can find them up here in Michigan, but my mom struggles sometimes in Florida to find them. There's strawberry cookies, they're date and Rice Krispies, and then you mold them into a strawberry shape and roll them in red sugar and put little green leaves on top. They're a little fussy, but they're very good. Fruit cocktail cake, that's my grandma's. Um, so there's m many of them that I would like to try. And then I have my mom, who's gonna be 86 in July, going through her notebook. She keeps a binder and she puts all her recipes in there, going through and finding some recipes that were my grandma's on both sides and some other old recipes that um, our favorites and ones that she thinks would be fun ones to share. She thought it was a fun idea. So that's kind of what I have coming up along with some canning videos. I have um, potatoes that I've received this week that I'm going to can today. And I got some navy beans and I'm going to make some navy bean soup and can that up. Navy beans are a real popular crop up here in the thumb of Michigan. So... If you have any ideas for any recipes you'd like me to see or what order, if you want desserts, if you want dinner ideas, I also was gonna share some ideas for using my actual um, canned goods that I have in my pantry, how I make homemade meals real quick, but they're homemade whole foods. 
So that was another idea that I had. But I just wanted to hop on today real quick this afternoon before I start peeling potatoes and check in and let you know some of the ideas that I had and that I'm really appreciative for everyone that has joined me here and that is watching the videos. And I hope that you know we can share a lot of other ideas with each other. So thank you very much for stopping by Pike Creek Farm and I will talk to you soon.